Hi guys, it's really good to be with you. So if you're gonna join in on this next little bit, you'll need a glass, a jug of water and a baking tray, something with a lip on it just to catch the water inside of it. So if you wanna pause the video and go grab those and then join us back in a moment. So our verses today, John 20 verse 19 to 22. So how's about, as a family, pause the video read those verses together and as you read them I want you just to look at what are the emotions that the disciples, Jesus's friends, were feeling. It actually names three in there. Um, just, just as you go through pick them out and come back to me. What are the emotions that the disciples felt during those verses? So what did you get? I got fear, joy, and peace. So these guys are in lockdown and they're feeling afraid. And then there's a verse which I love and it says, they were filled with joy when they saw the Lord. So they went from being full of fear to being full of joy and peace. So what changed it for them? It was when they saw Jesus. And it's the same for us, isn't it? That actually when we're looking at Jesus, it changes how we feel. So your emotions, during this time at home, during this lockdown, for a moment, I want you to pause the video and as a family, the people you're around you, really chat honestly about some of those different emotions you've been having during this time. You might have been sad, you might be angry about it, you might be really happy, um, but, just, just for a moment, chat about how you've been feeling during this time. Pause the video. So, all this talk of emotions, it got me thinking about a movie that I watched quite a while ago. It's called Inside Out, I don't know if you've seen it. It's an animation and it, it's about a, a young girl called Riley and you get to actually see inside of her brain and you get to know her thoughts and, and also um, her emotions are played by characters. So these are the characters in it, the emotions that she's got going on. So she's got disgust, fear, joy, sadness, and anger. Just have another look at those pictures. So disgust, fear, joy, sadness, and anger. And I was, I was thinking, do you know what? It's okay to have emotions like God created us with those feelings and emotions and he, he he made us that way but it's not about us having those feelings it's about what we do with them that matters doesn't it so I'm going to give you an example if this is you or me it's our heart this is our inside of us and uh, something happens today I don't know for you might be your brother or sister does something that really annoys you and you start to feel a little bit angry. So with that anger, you get to choose, don't we? We get to choose whether or not. We go to Jesus on it, we chat with Jesus. I'm feeling really angry now, right now. And uh, let him change those feelings and help us with those feelings. Or we can just carry on getting angry until our overflow from that, it starts spilling out to everybody around us and that anger spills out and affects those people around us. Another example, let's just pull this away a second. Another example of that. Fear. Don't know, today, something might happen, might watch something or hear somebody talking about something. It starts to, make, starts to make you feel a little bit scared about what's going on right now. And so that little bit of fear inside of you, for a moment, we can choose. Am I going to go to Jesus on this? Am I going to let him fill me with his joy and his peace right now? Or just keep thinking about that and getting more and more frightened and more and more frightened until our overflow again to those around us could be that actually we start making other people feel a little bit frightened right now. So there's a verse in the Bible, which I love, because it talks about a healthy overflow, a good overflow. 
So will you go with me now to it? Pause the video and look up Romans uh, 15 verse 13. And just read it together as a family. So, are you there? I'm going to read it from my version. Your version may be different. But it says, I pray that God, the source of hope, will fill you completely with joy and peace because you trust in him. Then you will overflow with confident hope through the power of the Holy Spirit. So there is this source of hope that will fill us completely with joy and peace right now because we trust in him. And then we will overflow with confident hope through the power of the Holy Spirit. So let's, right now, for a moment, for me, what it means for Jesus, that Jesus is alive today, is means that it changes how I feel. It changes that when I'm looking at Jesus, um, and I'm filled with his Holy Spirit, that I'm filled with joy and peace. And my overflow, our overflow, can be hope. It can be good things, not anger and not fear or sadness, but good things. And isn't that great? So let's join in together on the next, the last bit. Let's pray together on all of this. So grab your jug of water and your glass and your baking tray. And maybe just ask one of your family um, to be the person to pour in. As we pray this prayer together, we're going to pray the scripture that we've just read. And we're going to pray it over ourselves. Um, so together, have one of you pouring in there and someone reading it out. And replace the I with we. Okay, so together. Pouring, we pray that God, the source of hope, will fill us completely with joy and peace because we trust in him. Then we will overflow with confident hope through the power of the Holy Spirit. And that hope, that beautiful hope that overflows, means that the people around us get affected by that hope. The world around us gets affected by that hope. Isn't that good news, guys? So have a great day. I pray that it will be filled. You will be filled with joy and peace and your overflow will be hope. Bless you guys. See you soon.